friend. He just copied you in some laundry. Actually, I just found a whole bunch of socks. Hmm, you know, lots of learning can go on with socks. You can have a lot of fun. The first activity I was thinking of is a simple matching game. You can have the kids help you at laundry time by simply matching the socks. You can look at the colors. You can look at the sizes. You can look for patterns in socks. Hmm, this is a warm, fuzzy sock. They're pink and they go together. The kids can help you. Look at this sock. This one's really long. Can you find another long sock in this pile? Is it this one? No, this one's really short. Oh, this one is blue. This one is beige. This one is black with white polka dots. <gasps> Here it is. These are two long beige socks. They go together. So not only does it become a fun interactive activity of matching and having fun and looking for patterns in the socks that go together, you're also getting your laundry done. Ha ha. So there's the first easy game that's fun and interactive that you can be doing at home with your kids. Let's see if we can find another fun game. After the laundry's done, you know, you're always going to have to law are those odd socks that are left over. So what can you do with them? Well, you know, you can always make puppets, decorate them, turn them into a puppet show. That's a lot of fun. Get out the markers and the glue and paper and your odds and ends. That's something you can do and have lots of fun with. Or what else could you do? You can roll them up and turn those socks into sock balls. Sock balls, hmm, they don't hurt if they hit you and you can practice your throwing. That empty laundry basket turns into a basket that you can throw into. So practice your throwing skills, trying to get the sock into the bucket. For younger kids like toddlers, they can go close to it and toss it in. For older preschoolers, they can stand back and show you how good they can throw. Overhand and underhand and make a fun game of it. The fun never ends. Let's see, can we come up with another game? I bet we can. Here's another idea for using those rolled up socks. I went and got um, empty water bottles and I added numbers to them with construction paper. Depending what your child is learning, if they're learning number recognition or recognizing their letters or shapes or just their colors, you can add that concept to the water bottles to make that learning that much greater. So line your water bottles up on the floor and you've created your own bowling game. Again, the sock is your bowling ball. And again, nothing is gonna get hurt inside the house. And you've created your own bowling game. Let the games begin. And the fun never ends. Remember to like us on Facebook, take pictures and send them to us. We'd love to hear your comments. See you next time.